Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this one, we're going to be uh, continuing on with the inventory and item series, part two. Um, in this one, we're going to be setting it up so that when we add and remove items from the inventory, it will update the UI. So we're going to create a little uh, inventory panel UI that shows what items we've got. Um, I don't know how long that's going to take really, so we'll see what else I can get done in the video. But then uh, we'll move on to dragging items around your inventory and uh, like being able to drop them out and so on. Um, and I might build a little 3D scene for the sake of, um, you know, physically dropping the item and stuff like I've got in my game, but we'll, we'll see about that. We'll see how it goes. Um, so currently, if you look, we have uh, the inventory handler with our inventory, nothing in it, an add item button, and it adds that, that item. So we're going to press the button a few times. Um, I'm not even in play mode. That would help quite a bit, wouldn't it? So if I go to inventory handler and press the button, it adds it, the sword, if I set that to empty. It will then fill in that one instead, and when it gets to full, it just won't do anything, and so on. And then uh, if I like remove that, and then I change the item to add, if I change it to the health potion, and I go back, and then I go, it puts in the health potion instead. So that all works. But now we need some way of displaying it on the UI. So we're going to make a quick inventory panel. So we're just going to go canvas, and we're going to make a panel, like so. And we're just going to scale that to however we want the inventory to be like. So let's just say, um, I'm trying to get it locked. There we go. So that's that's halfway. Yep, that'll do. Okay, so in the inventory, what well, we'll just call it, uh, inventory, oops, inventory panel. And then down inside that, we want to add um, all the inventory slots. Now, before we actually put the slots in, we want to make the inventory um, thingy sort the panels we don't want to have to like manually put all the different ones it would be stupid um we can make a layout group and there's all these other, there's all the different ones and there's the grid layout group which is exactly what you want for an inventory and all we want to do is since we have 20 items in my inventory in our inventory we're going to right click on uh, the little inventory thing here make a panel um ui panel and you know it's about an inventory slot size we can tweak it all um and we just want to go but we basically want to call it um, like slot 01, duplicate it. Well, actually, we're fine. We'll call it uh, we'll call it slot one. Nah, I can't type. Um, and you just keep duplicating it until we've got 20. So now we have 20. Um, and they're not really laid out exactly how we want. So first of all, I'm going to change their colors a bit so you can see it a bit different, a bit clearly, clearer. Sorry. Uh, let's. Put it like there. You go, I'll do. Uh, maybe a bit lighter. Okay, and now we want to make this um, kind of fit better. So what we can do is we can just tweak with these settings. So it currently uh, locks the top left, but you could set it to you know upper right, um, whatever. We're just gonna move. We're just gonna tweak these values. So the spacing. Well, no, sorry, that's the actual uh, size. Now, we don't really want to tweak the size. We want to keep it uh, square. So the spacing we can tweak. So, you know, make that space to there. Um, make them space down, obviously. But as you see, that's not really spreading how we want it to. So once we've got it about right, we can then go to this padding option and we can tweak the padding. So uh, as you see, this isn't really what we want, how it is right now. Um, though we can tweak this. So let's say there, and then from the top. Now, to be honest, this isn't like the ideal size for an inventory panel anyway, so we might just, um, should we go for five by four? Um, how should we do this? So we go five by four, we go four by five, we'll do five by four. And let's just make it look a bit nicer now. So we're gonna push it into the center. You can actually, um, child alignment middle center and then we can get rid of let's just reset these paddings there we go that's better and then we can slightly push the spacing out like so there you go just tweak it until it's right for you now obviously this isn't what a normal inventory will like but hey we'll, we'll go with this so we want these each each of these slots to basically store an item and we want to um well we've already made the inventory slot script we just haven't put anything on it um, if I actually go back, sorry, to the item script, oh, let's just open them all up. 
So in inventory, I tweet this just to show. Um, if we, it returns a boolean. Um, it's going to return true if we add the item and false if we don't. So true there because it returns, it adds the item, but false here because there's no spaces. Um, now we're going to code the inventory slot. So first of all, let's select all of these slots. Uh, so slot one and then shift click to slot 20. And we're going to add uh, the inventory slot script. If you haven't got this already, just make an empty script. Um, and this is going to handle the uh, image, for example, for all of the slots and so on. Um, so first of all, every slot has to have uh, an image. So what I'll do for now is, because we've got the layout group working, I can just do it like this. So the slot has an image. Image, there we go. And we'll say the image is a bit smaller, so we'll go for like 80 by 80, like so. Um, and that's it, you know, it just has a sprite on it. So if we set the sprite to something, then that's what it is. Otherwise, it's just nothing. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll leave that as it is. Um, and we can duplicate that back to the 20 times. Um, so there's our thing of all the slots. Now, we only want these... I, um, image components to be active if there is an item and if there isn't then it should be null it should just be disabled sorry so let's make a logic for our inventory slot script um we want to store a list of inventory slots in here now in the inventory so um public uh we can just do a list of inventory slot um called inventory slots is a new list of inventory slot type there we go and Let's see, just give it a second. Um, so if we go to our inventory handler, you see here's a list that we want. Um, so if we select all of these, right, let's um, lock this so it stays. Then we can select all these 20 and drag them in here. So we've got all the scripts there. <coughs> and now um, we've got a list of 20 for the items and a list of 20 for the slots. So we can kind of link them together almost. So when we add, uh, an item to a slot once it's actually been added. Um, how about how should we do this? This function is just for the adding it to the list, but we want to call it from somewhere else. And obviously, we get the true if we um, do add it, and a false if we don't. So, um, how about we'll call the function add, but then somewhere else we'll have a public void. Um, add item and the reason for that um, is it handles the whole uh, thing or oh, we could have more functions in there that um, do different things L I'll show you like this so um, we're going to take an item and at some point we're going to call this and pass it in so if we actually go back to the ooh, our, our button the don't, don't matter about the button um, we can make this a private Bull as well for now at least um, so sorry I got a bit sidetracked there um, when we add an item we want to say uh, bool um, has added is equal to add item okay so this has added will be true if we add the item and false if we don't so we then want to say uh, if has added do this code so um, if we do add an item to an inventory slot we want to we want a way to um, update all our UI. To be honest, we want a function for that. That's a good idea. So um, we'll make a public void uh, like update um, slot UI, and that's basically going to loop through all of these slots and make sure they've got the right icon and everything. And we can add to this later when we're updating more UI stuff on there if we have like a counter for how many stacks we've got. So we want to say uh, for int i equals zero, um, i is less than, and we want to basically go through the inventory slots, uh, dot count i plus plus. So we're gonna loop through them all, and we're gonna say um, if, now what we can actually do is we can say um, if item list, because this stores our actual items, if item list i dot, and we have reference to um, the item in it, so, um, Basically, we're going to see if it's null. So if it's um, if the thingy is null, uh, or actually, what we're going to do is we say if it's not equal to null, what, then we'll say what we want to do. And then we'll say else do this. 
So think of it this way. If the current slot we're checking, if the item in that position exists, if it's not null, if we have something in that slot, we want to set it to that icon. So we want to say, um, oh, we'll also need uh, access to their icons. So what we can actually do is we can have a function inside the inventory slot, because this inventory slot is going to have a uh, public um, item. It's going to have a public item, and it's also going to have a public image. We need the Unity Engine UI using Unity Engine dot UI, and then this is a type image. We have to actually put um, that there. I must call it um, icon. So what we can do is because an item has a sprite, we can say um, public void update UI um, or like update slot, uh, we can say um, image, uh, how should we do this, um, we'll say if item dot image dot sprite, sorry, um, we'll say if item, because uh, yeah, if item does not equal null. This is actually a better way of doing it. If item is not null, then we'll say um, icon dot set active. Oh, um, we can't actually do that because that would have to be the game object. We need a a game object for it actually. Um, icon dot set active true so if there's if there's something in the slot we'll set it to true and we'll also say uh, icon dot get component image uh, dot sprite is equal to item dot icon what I call it item dot we didn't actually have one so we need to add to our item we want a sprite um, which is oops which is the icon for the thing so we'll say it is equal to item dot icon and then we'll say active, and we'll say else. So if it is null, then we'll say uh, icon dot set active false. Okay. So now all we have to do is we just have to loop through all the slots. So yeah, we can literally just loop through all the slots and just say um, inventory slots i dot update slot. Okay. Now we have to do a bit of tweaking in the uh, inspector now, but it should work. So the first thing I need to do is we need to go to, or well, you can just delete these slots again. Um, so the slot has an image component, which is the icon. Um, and it has an item which we will uh, set. Yeah. Um, so what we need to do now is we need to duplicate these back. Uh, like so um, and I just need to then quickly change the specs sorry. so put those all there it's a good idea to set it back to zero and undo it okay so they're all linked up the only last thing we have to do is we need to be able to tell the inventory slot what item it's currently holding so whenever we add an item to the inventory like so um, if we actually do set the item list um, item, we also want to be able to set the UI. Now the reason we're doing this is we're kind of like splitting the UI from the actual items, which um, is kind of beneficial because later on we don't want to have it in the, um, we don't want to have to reference the items in the slots because it would be awkward. It's good to hold it somewhere else as well. Um, so it's good to have an item list and an inventory slot list with reference to the item. Um, so we can say, uh, inventory slot i so the same one in the uh, position dot item is equal to item 2 so it's basically just setting both the things and then um, so that's when we add an item now we haven't currently got removing items so um, when we manually remove it in the inspector it's not actually going to remove it visually but I'll show you we'll, we'll get it working now so if we press play 
Well, we need to actually give our um, items some icons, otherwise it's not going to really have anything to show. So let's set this sprite equal to the check mark and this one equal to the knob. I don't know. All right, let's see if this works. So it's not updated yet because we haven't actually run, run the function yet. Um, we could run it on the start, to be honest, which is what you probably want to do. But anyway, so if I go back to the button, here we go, uh, inventory dot add item and then an item and we press play. Oh, sorry, do I actually, no, I'm not even running the function, so I've made it, but I don't run it. So in, in inventory, when we do um, this, uh, if has added, we want to update slot UI. So it was adding the item, it just wasn't updating the UI, which is kind of kind of important, um, to be honest. So there we go. We got it in that slot, that slot, that slot. And then if I go and swap this out for the minor health potion and start adding that, we get that in our slots. So that is actually synced up well and that's working now so i can just go switch it back we want to add some more of these and there you go so that's this video done um obviously now we've got it set up so we've got an inventory ui and we can add items to it and then we're just going to keep building on top of that so obviously that's part two of the series part three should be tomorrow uh so if you haven't already obviously like and subscribe would mean a lot share this video with people that might find it uh helpful if you haven't already join the discord server but apart from that thanks for watching and goodbye